Uh, the next type of factoring that we look at is known as a difference of squares. And to kind of see the motivation for how this factoring works, let's consider a couple of multiplication problems. If we were to multiply this out, x plus 3 times x minus 3, all right, doing our distributing, All right, we have x squared minus 3x plus 3x minus 9. And then notice, of course, that the middle terms here cancel out. And so the result is a difference, a subtraction problem. And the two things we're subtracting came from multiplying x times x and 3 times 3. Uh, so in other words, it's a difference, a subtraction problem involving squares. Now this particular example was not unique. Uh, in fact, let's consider just a second example to see again that this works. No matter what two things, when you multiply them out in this format, uh, you're going to end up with a difference of squares. So the 5x and 5x would be 25x squared. 5 and 2 would be minus 10xy. 2y and 5x would be plus 10xy. And then 2y and 2y would be minus 4y squared. Again, when you're multiplying things in this format, the middle terms will always cancel out. So we get 25x squared minus 4y squared. <coughs> Here the 25x squared is 5x squared, or 5x times 5x. And the 4y squared is 2y squared, or 2y times 2y. So in general, uh, anytime we have something of the form a squared minus b squared, we can factor that as a plus b times a minus b. Or the other way. If you want the a minus b first, you can put the a minus b first. And so when we see that we have a two-term polynomial, uh, of course we always look for a common factor, but then also look for this uh, difference of squares. Also look for this difference of squares. So let's just do one example here of this process and then we'll do more in future videos. Let's just say we have x squared minus 16. Well, we see we have a difference. There is no common factor that we can take out. So we ask ourselves the question, basically, what do I square to get each thing? Well, x squared, I have to square x. 16, I'd have to square 4. So I can factor that as x plus 4 and x minus 4. So this is a really nice uh, factoring form to know because it's really easy to recognize. Uh, it looks a lot different than the other ones because you only have the two terms. <coughs> and it's something you can do really, really quickly. Uh, and so we talk about factoring a difference of squares. So in the next videos, we'll be uh, looking a little more in-depthly at some examples of factoring a difference of squares. Until then.